Hi there, I'm Trish Lynch from IOHR TV. Welcome to our show, NGO Focus. Today we've taken the show on the road from London all the way to the beautiful city of Geneva. We'll soon be meeting with Adelina von Furstenberg, who is the founder of Art for the World. This is an NGO and it was set up in 1995 to serve humanitarian purposes through art. Art for the World is associated with the UN Department of Public Information. Let's now go to the studio and meet Adelina. Adelina, thank you for joining us today. It's great to have you with us. Now, if I could ask you to tell me about Art for the World, because I believe that you got your inspiration from Article 27 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which states that everyone has the right to take part freely in the cultural life of the community and to enjoy the arts. Tell me how it all began and what it is you do. It began, it began uh, for, during the 50th anniversary of the UN, because I was invited to curate a very large show in the spaces outdoor, indoor of the, here in Geneva of the Palais des Nations. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was very interesting because we invited 70 artists from all over the world. We could do more, but that was what, and the way we, 70 yeah. to do large installations and, and exhibition, etc. And that was, if you want, the beginning of our understanding how much art can play a role in the in the society, not in the sense of changing the world, but at least give a certain awareness to the world. And thanks to this article uh, 27, it which said everybody has the right to to enjoy uh, the to arts. enjoy. Yeah. So then, not only enjoy, but also learning through art. Mm -hmm. Now, that is what you do because you work with award-winning filmmakers and we'll yes. talk about your films in a moment yes. and artists. Tell me how you highlight human rights issues through art because it's something fresh and new and unusual, isn't it? In fact, no, because I always uh, uh, paid attention to the fact that uh, each artwork has something to do with the human rights. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that an artwork is against the human rights. I, I mean, personally, I never saw. So it's just to give to the art and to the artist this awareness to use their work to go a little bit further and to communicate with the world through art, which is the universal language. So it's very easy to understand. You don't need the interpretation. Now, I know that you produce amazing films all relating to human rights. Can you tell me more about the stories on human rights, which is 22 short films that you produced in 2008 to commemorate the 60th yes. anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Tell I was invited, that. in fact, from the High Commission of Human Rights to think about uh, an art project for the 60th anniversary. So I proposed, instead of doing an exhibition, to produce uh, this, this series of films, which is also more easy to split the world of human rights, to split the idea, mm -hmm. as the cinema is uh, one of the best tools to communicate, so they accept us, so this is how we start. And then uh, I invited through, ad, uh, through cinema advisor and, and you know, professional, mm -hmm. we, cho we did the choice of a certain number of very interesting in, uh, independent filmmakers. And so this is how things happen. And 10 years after, still now, these films are asked to us, still they are going on. So this is a very big satisfaction.
But now we are doing another series on climate change called mm -hmm. Interdependence that will come out in September. Tell me about that, because yes. you were talking about how the elements are all dependent yes. on one another. Yes. Tell me where the idea came from and what it's all about. Yeah, one of our uh, main issues are environment, of course. And so the, um, uh, in 2017, we started a series of exhibitions on the subject of water. So it was in Geneva, I went in Sao Paulo, in, in Italy, it's and it will continue, it's traveling in Germany, etc. Mm -hmm. And, and in, during the preparation, we realized, of course, something that everybody knows, but we really realized that interdependent is the key word to be together and to fight against this climate change problem, because mm -hmm. we are, in a way, related to all these four elements, uh, earth, water, air, and fire and all they are all together and this is why through this reflection we decided to make this uh, new series of production called Interdependence with 11 filmmakers from also all over the world from uh, Cook Island to Brazil to Iceland everywhere. So Tell me about the amazing work that Art for the World does with disadvantaged children in orphanages, in schools, in hospitals. Tell me about that. This is an ongoing project. It started in the year 2000. Or we already have 80, play, 80 models, but every year there are architects, artists that are sending us mm -hmm. other models. And, uh, and then when we find the money, we build one of these models or two. We did it in India twice, in Armenia and Greece during the earth, last earthquake. Mm -hmm. We did it in London. In, the, uh, in Tasmania, we have one of our playgrounds. Uh, wow. of the Chinese artist Chen Zhen. In the beginning started for the, the children, disadvantaged children, but then we realized that uh, every, all, ch all child all is right, the right to, to play. enjoy, to play, and yeah. this is human rights. To, so then we did, of course, not in the most com uh, fancy places, but uh, also in the Western world. Wonderful. Tell me about the festival that you're taking part in in two days' time, because I know you're quite excited about that. Tell me what it's all about and how you got involved in the first place. Yeah, this is because we did this. I did this uh, curatorship of the exhibition Water. So in a sort of way, I start to be involved with artists about these questions. And this year in Geneva, there is this uh, festival. Uh, uh, history and city and focus on water mm -hmm. and so they invited me with two other artists one is Bartelemi Togo from Cameroon is a very sensitive and great artist who did a lot of fabulous paintings on the emigrants on the Mediterranean Sea and then this other artist called Benji Boyajan who lives in Bethlehem and is half Armenian half Finnish and both they are coming with me and three of us, we will do discussion for one and a half hours about the water, the role of the artist, how the artist can be involved, and etc. Um, as if you haven't done enough already, what's next for Art for the World? The next, I mean, the way, now I'm going in Brazil and doing a very large show of uh, Swiss uh, artists, mm -hmm. but he's also in one way or another involved, very young, about the life, the world, because uh, the human right is not only during the difficulties, but also during the enjoying situation. Yes. It's also a right to enjoy. 
which always we don't remember. Enjoy uh, life, enjoy art, enjoy culture, share uh, with other people. All this is part of human rights. So this artist is very positive, called Augustin Rebetes. He's Swiss, very positive and very joyful, very young. So we are presenting this in Brazil now. You can imagine that is the right moment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, in the same time, working with um, Brazilian filmmaker Daniela Thomas, mm -hmm. for to invite we invited her for our interdependence film, and she will do a short about uh, indigenous in Indians in uh, Amazonia and the river that they are polluted. Adelina from First Break, thank you for joining us today and sharing with us the incredible work that Art for the World My is pleasure. doing. And thank we look you. forward to hearing how the festival went um, in two days' time. And we thank you for joining us for another episode of NGO Focus. Don't forget you can see many other episodes on our website. We look forward to seeing you again very soon. And for myself, Trish Lynch, take care. Bye-bye.